hello in this video you will learn about 3d rotation before we did 2d rotation now we have 3d rotation in 3d rotation we have three axes so we will deal with three axes three axes like x axis y axis and z axis in two dimensional rotation we have just x axis and y axis and we can rotate object uh, with respect to x axis and y axis now we have in 3d rotation three axis plus we have angle for rotation so for 3d rotation what we need we need to specify axis and angle to rotate the object as we are dealing with three axes so you can see here we have three different types of planes like xy plane like this this is xy plane and here this is xz plane and this is yz plane so in 3d rotation what we have we have three axes x axis y axis and z axis and we are dealing with three different planes like xy plane yz plane and xz plane now you can see here we have two different types of rotation in 3d rotation like clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation so we will see along x axis clockwise and anti-clockwise if angle is positive then this is anti-clockwise rotation if angle is negative then it will produce clockwise rotation and this is the direction for anti-clockwise rotation and this is for clockwise rotation and this is long y-axis you can see this is anti-clockwise and this is clockwise and this is rotation along z-axis here this is the direction for anti-clockwise and this is for clockwise next you can see here suppose we want to rotate object along x-axis so we need 3d rotation about x-axis when we will rotate object along x-axis then x coordinate remains unchanged so this coordinate is unchanged plus we will use transformation on the yz plane here you can see here this is the transform transformation matrix that we use in the 2d rotation in two dimensional in anti-clockwise direction here you can see so for this you can see this is x1 this is x2 this is y1 this is y2 now this is new point suppose x dash so we can produce new point x dash y x cos theta minus y sin theta and we can produce y dash y sin theta x sin theta plus y cos theta this is x1 this is x2 this is y1 and this is y2 and so on now in case of 3d rotation you can see here we have x axis unchanged so we will not do any kind of changes in the x axis now in the y dash you can see we are using a 2d rotation but we are using here in the 3d coordinates this is y cos theta minus g we are using here y z plane y cos theta minus z sin theta and y sin theta plus z cos theta so you can see here we have the coordinate position here so this is the transformation matrix for rotation about x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction and this is the transformation matrix about y-axis in the anti-clockwise direction so we are using here homogeneous coordinates to represent this in case of y-axis rotation we will keep y axis unchanged so y coordinate is unchanged and you can see here we are using xz plane here for the rotation here we replaced xy by y by z and z by x as you can see the example of 3d rotation along y axis this is the object and you can see the rotation is done along xy xz plane this is for the z axis here we will remain here z axis remains unchanged and you can see we are using this on the x axis and this is on the y axis and you can see the example here so we have the object and you can see the transformation is done using x y plane g remains unchanged so that's just a short introduction about 3d rotation how we can rotate object in 3d along x axis y axis and z axis so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.